All right, according to the SPCA, three to four million cats and dogs are euthanized each and every year. Hi, good morning. My name is Joe Benavides, and I'm a student, like you all, at St. Edwards University. And today I'm here to talk to you about why you all should volunteer at the Austin Humane Society. Now, before I get started with my presentation, I ask that you all hold all questions until after. And let's get started. Okay, um, I'm going to talk to you all about the Austin Humane Society's background, what, they, what, they, what their mission statement is, what they live for. I'm also going to talk to you all about the benefits of becoming a volunteer, and last but not least, the requirements in order to become a volunteer. So the Austin Human Society, as you can see on your paper, was founded in 1952, and since then it has grown into becoming the largest non-kidding, non-profit animal shelter in Austin. And for those of you who don't know, it's located on Anderson Loop, and what we'd like to do our mission statement here, as you can see, it's saving Austin's homeless cats and dogs by, not, by reducing the euthanization of them, and by reducing the overpopulation of cats and dogs. Now for those of you who don't know, there are around 78 million cats in the United States. Austin Humane Society has around 55 dogs and over 45 cats, and the adoption ratios are around 50% each, so it's 50-50. Um, what we have trouble with is getting rid of some of our older pets, because usually pet owners come looking for like youngsters and people, like things that are, animals that are easier to train. So now, going into um, the benefits of volunteering, I mean, clearly, who here has a pet in their house? Raise your hand. Maybe, okay, well, I mean, 66% of all households in the U.S. have a pet. And that's, I got that from the Austin Humane Society. And what we focus on doing is basically educating you on how to better train your pet, how to take care of your pet. And it's, I mean, it's gonna benefit you immediately right off the bat because, I mean, it's gonna help you, when you go back home, you're gonna know how to take care of your pets. I mean, there's, fundamental things such as like approaching them, the way you should pet them, the way you should feed them, the way you get their attention. And it's really impressive, you know, like to learn these things that like, you haven't learned all your life. And I mean, you've been not raising your cat or dog in a whole, like totally wrong way. Everyone does it in a certain way, but I mean, this is a very effective way. And the Austin Humane Society actually has 700 volunteers. However, that's in our system. It's not religious volunteers who go like on, on a weekly basis. So we, we, we are, re definitely looking for in search for new volunteers. Now, I, talk, I covered the benefits of volunteering, but now I'm gonna to talk to you about the requirements for volunteering. It's a two hour orientation course that you just basically show up and as you get there, you choose whether you wanna become a cat or dog volunteer. I chose to become a dog volunteer and that's the BRAT organization, which is, as you can see on your paper, the Behavior Rehoming Assessment Training Team. And what we do is we basically assess the behavior of dogs um, and we there's a scale as far as it's the green color, blue color, orange color, and yellow color, and that's if like the easiest to get along with are the green, which is what we'd be volunteering with for the first three months. As you get a hand, hang of it, I mean they're the ones that are easier to care for. You take them out for walks. The volunteer organization that yeah, we offer um, tennis balls, we offer you know those stuffed um, conch shells that we like put peanut butter in to try to get them you know like to you know teeth for the younger animals. And I mean, it's just, it's a great experience. I mean, seeing their, seeing their eyes and just like noticing like, what are their boys? They can't talk to us. And I mean, when you're there in, the, in those kennels and you see like these dogs, just like they're so, so attention driven and they're just asking for you to play with them. I mean, it just feels great being able to walk them and you know, and these, this two hour orientation course it blows by and you learn the fundamentals of taking care of these animals. And there's a $20 fee that you have to pay for. However, it's totally worth it. This, this money goes towards um, fundraising for supplies, um, you know, the treats that we end up giving them, ultimately the volunteers. So we're, it's basically, we're paying for our long time membership as volunteers, as, you know, feeding them and whatnot. And I mean, this organization is extremely important to Austin. And like I said, it's the largest non kidding organization. And I mean, we basically want to find a home for all of these dogs and cats. And I encourage all of you to either go adopt a pet or go help us volunteer. We could really use any of y'all's time. And we'd appreciate it. So today I've covered with you all um, a little bit about the Austin Human Society's background. I've covered with you all the benefits of volunteering as opposed to you not know, volunteering, which would just be, I mean, you know, you're just wasting your time. I mean, not wasting your time, but you're just being lazy guys. And I mean, you're, you're benefiting yourself by doing this and it's really gonna help you all. And I've also covered, of course, the requirements of volunteering, this two hour orientation class. So um, with that being said, that concludes my presentation and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me now and I'll answer.